All right, guys, welcome back to Ordinary E, uh, part three of this 99 PC build. Um, if you remember last time, we got the PC case, the three, all cleaned up. Uh, we're looking for ATX motherboard, and yeah, it's come up pretty good. It's the, done a bit of research. I think it's the HAF 912 or 932. Um, but yeah, it's going to be okay, you can use that. So if you remember in the last part 2 video, um, it was all about, we received the CPU. Now, I'm just going to show you some stuff here, what's been going on. So most, most of the stuff has come from um, a place called Trash Nothing. I'll just show you what we got. So as you can see, uh, shout out to Nick Nunn, that was the case. Uh, and that's how you go on to trash nothing, uh, it's a free case. So we got that. For the CPU, we went on to eBay. I'll just show you how much we paid for the CPU. As you can see, I don't know what it is, the Intel Xeon E4 E430, but it's 2.66 gigahertz, quad core, etc. So it should be good. Let's have a look at it. This is our 99P. Oh, it's got my address on it, so I'm going to show you that. There she is. See if we can get into it. It's coming a so there's the the Xeon someone's written on their Xeon E5430. I don't know what this processor is. I believe that's an Intel processor. Um, we're gonna open up and do some research and find out. I don't know how you meant to open that. Um, we want to be real careful we don't break any of the pins or anything. I'm not sure. It's been wrapped real good. Tissue is, but it's tough. Don't need that anymore. And there she is. Oh, yeah. Have a look at that, baby. That's pretty clean. Okay, so it doesn't have pins, it has like pads it was probably the old style the new stuff has has pins which uh, you do not want to bend on those ones but on this one they're kind of pads so there it is the E430 for 99p that we're going to base our build around um, I'm going to go and research and see how many cores and threads this has so I'll be right back Okay guys, I'm back and I figured out what this, uh, I mean look at that, that's beautifully engineered, right, 
look at the power that's going to be in the hat. Who thinks of this stuff? How? How do they think of this stuff? Incredible. Anyway, it's an Intel Xeon processor, E430. E430. Um, it's 2.66 hertz, gigahertz, in fact, and a 12 millimeter, 12M cache, which is um, it's quite a powerful little unit for 99p. Uh, I think the highest we've got these days or the newest stuff from AMD is 4 gigahertz. So, okay, it's not that, but that that will cost you hundreds and hundreds of pounds. 99p for a third of the performance, maybe. It's got four cores and four threads, which should be plenty enough for what I'm trying to achieve, which is step up my um, my YouTube videos and be able to uh, render and stuff quicker than I'm doing at the moment. At the moment, I'm using a laptop and it's taking two days to just render 10 minutes, if that gives you any idea of the pain I'm going through. But yeah, there she is. Uh, we're gonna build our 99PC around this 99P CPU. Fantastic little CPU. I'm just in awe of the engineering. It's very clean. I don't see any uh, any imperfections in that at all. What I've got to find out though is um, what kind of board we need now, right? Uh, just looking on that on that website there. So just looking at this website, uh, you can go on to Intel, um, just type in the specification of your, of your processor, I don't know if you can see that, and it will tell you all the information you need, uh, about, or all the information about the processor. So it's, an in, it's a legacy Intel Xeon processor, E5430, it's discontinued, so it's ooh, discontinued. Uh, I won't give you the boring stuff, but four cores, four threads. I mean, that's half of what you can get for the new, the newer, the newer uh, gen these days. It's a 12 MB L2 cache. The bus speed is 1,333 megahertz. The voltage range is 1.35, or 0.85 to 1.35. Okay, so here's the socket we need. That's the important part for choosing a motherboard so when you get your cpu you need to look up what socket you need now this says it needs a socket called an lga 771 so now we're going to go and look for motherboards that has a socket for lga 771 um, that's about it package size 37.5 millimeters squared the die size is 214 millimeters squared no hyper threading unfortunately not in those days. Uh, yeah, so that's excellent. So there we have it, that's the CPU. Now I'm gonna go look for the, the motherboard. But I'm not done here. I've gotta give a shout out to a good friend of mine who is part of my Destiny Fire Team member, um, who's kindly sent me over old PC parts he had in his garage. Now I don't know what's in here, or well, I kind of know, but he kind of told me, but we haven't seen what's in here. So we're going to have a look now and see what parts we have, thanks to my good friend fire team member who doesn't want me to say his name, for whatever reason, but thank you so much. Let's get into this box. So is another good way of building a free PC if you've got any friends or family uh, get them to fill over whatever they're not using um, oh look at that he's even put some packing paper in there how thoughtful cheers oh so is nicely packed as well. I don't know what this is. Wow. 
Wow, so this is, uh, I don't know if you can see that guys, that's uh, a Sapphire HD2000, HD 2600 XT ATI, I think that's a graphics card obviously. Um, wow, that's awesome, I don't know what the kind of a performance this is, it needs, it's a GDR3 PCI slot, uh, so make sure that's on the motherboard, I assume, I'm not sure, i got to do some research on this. A little bit dusty, I'll give it a clean up. I don't know how good this is, maybe you can let me know how, you, how good that is. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, another package here, all right. Well, that's a, a dish, that's a HDV, isn't it? Which is a storage disk drive, right? Made in the US, da -da -da -da. never seen, never had one of these in my hands before, so, bloody heavy beast. That's a, I've got to figure out what kind of connections are, you've got two sides to these kind of connections, one is power and one is data, I believe the small one is data, this will give you the power, and this gives you the data coming in and out. Um, but yeah, that's a that's a hard drive, H a HDD, hard hard disk drive. Uh, we don't use those anymore these days. Usually we have an SSD or an M.2 M M.2 drive. But um, awesome. So we have one of those, and this would slide in there, right? So, yeah, slide in there, and then you put some screw. Yeah, you got some screws at the side, and you'd screw that into into this bit. And I'll show you in a bit. Hold on. What else we got in here? Wow. This is so uh, this is RAM, right? So Buffalo RAM, but with no, sorry, this is a RAM stick with Buffalo chipsets. Never heard of Buffalo. Um, one gig. Yeah, so one gig. I don't know what DDR it is, if any. Does it tell me anywhere? Don't know. But that's that's all. So I've got some RAM. This is killer. Two sticks of that, so that's two gigs. One gig each. What else is there's something else in here? Uh, holy, we've got another processor. This is an Intel E six seven five oh or eight. Another processor guys, oh wow, I don't know if this is better than the one I just got for 99p or not, but yes, very clean as well. That's the thermal paste residue you can see on there, but this is it's a duo core, so and this 2.66 gigahertz as well, 4M cache, and I don't think it's as good as, the numbers ain't as big as the other one anyway, but I'll do some research on this one. And we'll decide now which one we want to use, either that or the other one. So I could have saved my 99p and had a processor for free and all of this, this stuff. Thank you so much, sir. Um, oh, wow. Now, I don't know if you know what's going on. That can go over there, right? I don't know if you know what's going on in the world, but crypto mining is back at its all-time high. And you just cannot get PCUs, power supplies, PSU, sorry. You just cannot get power supplies anymore these days. Um, you can probably get some smaller ones, but just off the bat, I can see this is a 650 watt, which is going to be more than enough to power um, the CPU and the setup that we're going to have in here. And it's got all the connections, That's crazy, crazy connections. So, not modular, so it's all fixed in there. 
So it gives you 640, 650 watts, but um, in reality, you're probably going to get 630 out of it. But I'll work out how much the chip will take to power the fans, uh, the graphics card, the motherboard, how much all that power kind of takes. I don't think that's going to, I think this is going to be more than enough. Uh, 650 watts, wow, that's a, that's a beast. Um, for free, for my good buddy. So if you've got friends, ask them if they've got anything laying around. Clearly he has. And a big, big shout out to, to him, thank you so much. There's a lot of connections. Um, you can't grumble for free. It is what it is. So many, there's your, right, okay. So, uh, let's get into, let's get a bit cleared up here. Doing some cable management already. Um, I've never seen these connectors. No idea what these would be for. I will figure it out, guys. I will figure it all out for you. Okay, so, wow, I don't, I don't know where to begin or, where, or what to do here. So, there is a lot of cables here, they're not labelled as far as I can see. I don't know if this works, I don't know how to test if it works straight off the bat. Um, but you need, okay, so I think I know what these ones are, these are SATA connections. These will, we, these would, uh, these would do. What would these do? These may do your. Yeah, this may power your hard drive. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, they would. So that power, that that's your power. So that will give you power. And then you need data transfer, so, and then you can daisy chain a few of those if you had that. This is, I believe, I don't know how many is here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So that's the 24 connect, 24 pin connector, that's for your motherboard. Um, You've got a few other connectors here and then you've got more SATA connections there and more SATA connections there so you probably don't need half of these if you're not if you're not running too many different parts in your PC so that goes away that would power your, your CP board and one of these other connectors would um, yeah this would, this would power your motherboard and one other one of one of these as well would power your motherboard too. And then the rest I don't know. So we'll figure it out as we as we start connecting stuff. So that's it. This is a Tegan 650 watt power supply, which is awesome. Now the fan, there's no fan at the bottom, there's some holes in the side, there's a power switch on off there and a connector there. Oh, we don't have a lead for that. Okay, there's your fan at the back, and, then, and there's a fan at the. Oh, sorry, there's a fan at the back, and there's a fan at. Hold on a minute. I would say that's the back because you're going to have your power button, right? And then you've got the, the, another fan at the at the side there. So we can try and connect that. Oh, can we? Yeah, we can try and connect that. Why not? Let's come with some screws. So the reason I'm telling you the fans is because move this out of the way, this is out of the way. And you've got your, your case, you can see here, you've got a, a vent at the bottom. Now usually fans are on the bottom, and most people would put their fans facing down, so that it's blowing air out into the floor, which is probably going to blow it back up into your case anyway but I don't know maybe have a setup where it would blow away but 
you don't want to tend to have more hot air coming at your graphics card and motherboard. You want it to hopefully go that way, downwards. But we don't have a fan here, um, up and above. So um, we can put this any way we want, really. I mean, if we go that way, all the logos are upside down, which is a shame. Do we want to see the logos anyway? Um, if we go that way, you get to see all the spec and that of the power supply. I suppose what you want to do is face, on this occasion, is face our cables this way so we can get them easier out of the back of the case. You see what I mean? They'll run outside the back and then you won't see all the cables. So, as with all power supplies, we are going to be going upside down ish in association with the logos, which I don't know why they do that. Um, let's use our PC multi tool gizmo. If you saw in the last video, I've got links into, into this for you to pick one up yourself. It comes with a grounding band. I forgot to show you this last time, but whenever you build a PC, you want to be connected to the ground somehow. So you put that on and uh, you'll connect that to the ground. If you know what a ground is, not the actual ground, right? But yeah, kind of to the actual ground. Um, okay, this, uh, it's got some screws here. Let's put the PC in. Uh, let's put the power supply in, sorry. So, our first part of the build is going in today. Who would have thought? Oh, Screws going over this. Let's get this. Nice silver screws to match nothing. Awesome. cables around the back on this on this case. Alright guys, 
so once that's all lined up, you can see how that's going to go. So once your motherboard is in, these, these wires have been trained to do some, something else. Once your motherboard comes in, you can then obviously slide the cable in and then get to connect it like that. But for now, we're just putting this power supply in. We don't have a motherboard. So what you would do here is line up the holes, hopefully. You line up. No. Yes, they do. There you go. So. Um, see that so that fits nicely they're all pretty standard these days um, I may use my black screws for this side and then you would just screw in your power supply Always do a cross, whenever you do screwing up on anything you do, always do a cross uh, pattern to apply even pressure. Not going to matter so much on the power supply. But uh, yeah, I'm using the black screws to match aesthetics, people, aesthetics. Alright, so we've got four screws there, cross pattern. Even pressure. And that's your power supply installed. Simple as. So we've got a pass through fan going on, so we've got a fan there and a fan there, so that's pretty good. Actually, and that is the only way the power supply would have gone because there's no holes here to, to install it with. So just check which side your holes are on. That's the way your power supply is going to go. You may have holes on both sides, I don't know. Um, that fits snugly underneath that lip there. Um, all right, that's it for part three of uh, the 99P PC build. So far, I have spent 99P on the processor. Uh, I've also got another processor on from my friend. So that's pretty good. That's, thank you so much. To show you the amount of cables that come with, with uh, power supply. Um, and then you've got to ground it somewhere, so I'll put that in in a bit. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, smack that subscribe button and like um, and smack that ring bell and let me know your thoughts on what to do next I had a, I had a bit of a dream about this cable because remember the last time it was broken so I'm gonna to have to take this up so it doesn't touch any metal always check your cables there's no loose connections touching metal just could damage you I doubt, I doubt you get a big shock but you could get a 12 volt shock so yeah always check your cables are are not damaged. I've got a lot of cables here to check. Um, but any damaged cables just tape up electrical tape. Alright, so we've got the we've got the let's just update our book as well while we're here. You remember the notebook? The case is a half, uh, I think a 912 or 932. Um, we've got a CPU, which is the E530. We've actually got two CPUs. Now this is where we spent our first money. So it's 0.99p right there. Um, we've got a power supply, free. And it's a 650 watt power supply. 
Um, we've also got the RAM. Now I know it's only two gigs, guys. Two gigs. You really want, if you want a game, you want eight gigs minimum. I think if you want AA titles in 2021, you want 16 gigs out there, people. 16 gigs, and if you really want to show off, 32 gigs. But we're not showing off today. We're doing this. Um, so we have our RAM. We've got two gigs. Uh, of RAM and we have a graphics card as well so that's that's the one for the books we've got a sapphire HD2600 HD2600 XT right yeah XT and we've also got a hard drive which I'm going to have to wipe obviously so where's the storage right we've got a HDD Zero, 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 zero. Now we know what motherboard we need to get. We need a socket. What was the socket? Uh, socket 771 LGA, right? Remember that? LGA. All right, so that's our list updated or the plan. We've got the ke we need a keyboard, a mouse, a monitor. That's the only, that's the only thing missing. So far we've spent 99p. Oh, we need to get a motherboard with a socket LGA771. So I'll start doing that, researching that and see if I can pick one of them up for free. I've had a little look. I don't think motherboards will come for free, but if you guys know of any place where you can pick up computer parts, let me know in, just in, the, in the comments below, yeah? As I said, smack that like button, smack that subscribe button, let's go. See you in the next one. Cheers, bye.